After a difficult start to the season, Saint-Étienne had been revived under Jean-Louis Gasset and were unbeaten in three months. A point against Paris a week ago showed Levert's newfound strength at the back, but if they still wanted to challenge for European football, they needed to get wins on the board. Strasbourg, on the other hand, was struggling of late on the back of three consecutive draws, but more importantly, without a win since mid-February. Thierry Doré's men had conceded 57 goals this season, the third worst defence of the league, and they almost conceded a goal just then. Rami Cabela coming close. Saint-Étienne getting an early chance, and it wouldn't be for a long time afterwards that they'd get another chance. That time, Stefan Rufier with the first of a fine string of saves during the match. Martinez with a shot from distance. Rufier once again at his front post. Acrobatics. Strasbourg piling the pressure on the Rufier goal, but just not able to get the decisive shot. Once again, that effort going wide. Both managers looking on at half time. A heroic Stefan Rufier in goal for Levert. And he would be heroic after the break as well. Thierry Loret looking on, urging his men on. Strasbourg in a desperate need for points. Once again, Rufier saving, this time from Cornier. It was straight at the goalkeeper, but he deals with it. Then it was Lina with a phenomenal shot, and what a save by Rufier. The best player on the pitch by a mile. Saint-Étienne who came forwards with an unlikely goal scorer, Mathieu Debouchy firing in the right back, who is Saint-Étienne's best goal scorer away from home. Surprising statistic, but there it is, and it's a brilliant finish. Debouchy with an 82nd minute winner, because Strasbourg would keep coming forwards. Kone with a header. But it was nothing doing, and after dominating the match, it was Strasbourg who lost out. Saint-Étienne score with their only shot on target in the match. Strasbourg will be extremely disappointed. Levert manager Jean-Louis Gasset summarising the match by saying they probably didn't even deserve a single point.